Okay, this is lesson 9.5 on um, solving rational equations. All right, um, ret is a rational equation. It's an equation that contains one or more, okay, one or more rational expressions. All right, we're going to learn two different methods today. Um, the first method is called cross multiplication method. This method can be used when the rational equation is in the form of a over b equals c over d. Okay, so when you have a, a rational expression equals a rational expression, and you can then rewrite it when we cross multiply it to be a times d equals b times c. Okay, um, and you've probably seen this before, maybe um, in algebra one where you have proportions um, and you're just cross multiplying. Okay, it's the same idea. So let's do the first one. And we have five divided by x equals nine over x plus eight. And let's do the steps. We're going to cross multiply. So I'm going to have 5 times x plus 8 equals 9x. And I'm going to do my simplifying from there where I'm going to solve for x. So I <clears throat> can distribute first. 5x plus 40 equals 9x. I'm going to move my x over here and my 40 over here. So I'll have negative 4x equals negative 40 and x will then be 10, okay? We want to check to see that this is true um, because sometimes we're going to find that if we get a solution, it may not actually work. So let's check. Um, we have the original function. We have 5 divided by 10, right? We're substituting that 10 in, equals 9 divided by 10 plus 8. Okay, so this simplifies to 1 half equals 9 eighteenths, which is also 1 half. Okay, so it does work out. So we checked our solution. Is the solution true? Yes, it is. Can you think of a number that will not work? So let's go back to our original equation and, and look here and think about what could x not be? All right, and I know that the one thing that stands out to me is we can never have a denominator as 0. Okay, so I'm trying to think what would make this zero. So for this one, zero would make it zero. And for this one, it would be negative eight. So I'm going to go back here. Now I'm going to put zero. And we would say why? It's because it makes the denominator in the first rational expression zero, right? So it would make this one zero. Okay, it would make the denominator, we could just simplify, make the denominator zero, okay, in the first expression. All right, what other number did we say? It would be negative eight. That would also make that zero. Okay, so we have to be careful of those. And when we get answers, we want to substitute in to make sure it's true and also confirm that it wouldn't make any of the denominators zero. All right, let's go to the next page and learn another method. In this method, you're going to use the LCD um, to help you solve. So if I look at my rational expressions here, my equation, I'm looking for my LCD. Okay. Um, first, I can see that I'm going to need to factor this. So I'll rewrite this x over x minus 2 plus x over x minus 3 equals 3 over, and I'm going to have x minus 3 times x minus 2. Alright, so now I have my denominators factored. I can see what I need to find my LCD. And I now know that my LCD is going to be x minus 3 times x minus 2. Right? I'm going to use both of these um, because it's in here in this expression and in this expression. Alright, so I found my LCD and now I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. Distribute the LCD to every term. Hint, this process eliminates the rational terms. It's kind of like uh, when we talked about multi-step equations where I said clear the fractions, okay? We're essentially trying to do that. We want to we want to get rid of all these denominators so we can easily solve this equation. So I'm going to write it all out for you um, with this multiply by the LCD. You could do it in your head, and you don't have to show all this work um, when you're doing the homework and the practice, but I want to write it all out so you can see the pr process that we do. All right, so if I have x, the first expression, and I'm going to multiply it by x minus 3 times 
just going to multiply by, x minus 3 times x minus 2. Then I have my second expression, x over x minus 3, and I'm going to multiply it by x minus 3 times x minus 2. And then I have equals 3 over x minus 3 times x minus 2. And I'm also going to multiply that by the LCD. Okay? So let's start with the first section. If you can see here, I'm going to can these two will cancel. So now I have x times x minus 3 plus these two will cancel x times x minus 2 equals, and all of this will cancel, equals 3. Okay, so you can see what happened right there is I'm getting rid of all those fractions. And now I'm having an, have an easier um, equation to solve. All right, so I'm going to go down here, multiply the binomials, and solve for x. So I'll have x squared minus 3x plus x squared minus 2x equals 3. And I'm going to simplify 2x squared minus 5x. I'm going to bring this 3 over. Minus 3 equals 0 because I can see now that I'm going to have to factor. And you can use whatever method of factoring you prefer. And you will get 2x plus 1 times x minus 3 equals 0. And I know then that x will equal negative 1 half and 3. Okay. So that is one method. We want to um, take this and make sure that these will um, be true. So we're going to check our solution. Let's go to the next page. Check your solution. All right, so we're going to substitute in the negative 1 half first. Okay, so I have negative 1 half divided by negative 1 half minus 2 plus negative 1 half divided by negative 1 half minus 3 equals... 3 over negative 1 half minus 2 times negative 1 half minus 3. And I'm going to see that I get negative 1 half divided by negative 5 halves plus negative 1 half divided by negative 7 halves. I'm doing that kind of in my head, just adding those, subtracting those um, numbers with the fractions. And we have 3 over negative 5 halves times negative 7 halves. All right, so we end up getting, um, you're going to have to flip and multiply, so you get positive 2 tenths plus positive 2 fourteenths equals, well, you're going to have 3 over 35 divided by 4. Okay, which is then going to give me um, I'm going to have to add these two in my head. Well, I'll do it. I'll show you. So we're going to multiply it by um, 7. 70 is going to be our LCD. So we'll have 70 here, which is going to make this 14. Multiply by 7. And this one we're going to multiply by 5. Oops. Did it 70. All right, so now I'm going to have 24 seventieths. Okay, equals. I'm going to uh, flip and multiply, so 12 thirty-fifths. And indeed, that is true, right? This is going to simplify to 12 thirty-fifths, and so we can say yes, it is correct. Okay, so it does work. We also have to substitute in 3. I didn't leave a lot of room for myself, but hopefully it'll be easier. 3 divided by 3 minus 2 plus 3 over 3 minus 3. Right, we're substituting in 3 now because that was our other solution. <laughs> Equals 3 over 3 minus 2 times 3 minus 3. And I'm going to get... 3 plus 3 over 0 equals 3 over 0. We cannot divide by 0, so we know that this does not work. Okay, so our only answer, if you go back, our only answer is going to be this guy. Because it's the only one that actually is true. 
So let's look at when we did our solutions, are those solutions true? No, we had a problem with one of them. Which number does not make the original equation true? It was 3. And why? Okay, oops. Why? Because it makes the denominator in two of the rational expressions 0. Okay. All right, so we want to kind of do some recapping here. Um, based on our results, what can we conclude about values that will make the original equation false? Okay, any value, the denominator of a rational expression um, that makes the denominator of a rational expression zero will cause a statement to be false. Okay, so we kind of need to keep an eye out for that. Um, when you get a solution, double check to see if it would make the denominator false, and then you would know it would actually not it'd be an extraneous solution. All right, what could we do prior to solving the rational equation to determine these values? And I just kind of said that. We can take the denominator equal to zero and solve. This will determine the values that will make the statement false. So I could have gone to, if we go back to our this example, I could have said x minus 2 equals 0. So x cannot be 2. And x minus 3 equals 0. X cannot be 3. So I could have eliminated those numbers right off the bat, okay, um, by looking at these denominators and, and saying um, what will not work. Okay. All right, let's do... Let's just do one more example, and I think we're going to do letter E. All right, so I'm going to look for my LCD. Well, first I have to factor this, right? So I'm going to say this is going to be um, x minus 1 times x minus 6. All right, so we know that x cannot be 1 and x cannot be 6, right? Those are going to make this these denominators um, uh, 0, so those um, will be extraneous solutions if they were a solution. Um, but they will—they are excluded values. Okay, so my LCD is this x minus one times x minus six, and I always like to write that just so I have it there in front of me. All right, so I have to just to multiply every term by this. So I'm going to kind of do this one at a time in my head. So we have three x over x minus one multiplied by this. The x minus ones will cancel. So now I know I'm going to have three x times x minus six plus, and I know now I'm going to go to this one and multiply it by the LCD, and I know that the x minus sixes will cancel. So now I know I'll have two x times x minus one equals, and in this one, both of these will cancel, so I will end up having five x squared minus 15 x plus 20. And I need to simplify from here, so I have three x squared minus 18 x, plus 2x squared minus 2x equals 5x squared minus 15x plus 20. All right, and I want to get all of this on the same side and simplify. Um, I know that over here we're actually going to have um, a 5x when I add these two together, and this is 5x, so th these are all actually going to cancel. Okay, so now I can simplify on this side, and I um, have negative 20x equals negative 15x plus 20. Let me move everything up here. And I can add the 15x of negative 5x equals 20, divide by negative 5, and x will equal negative 4. Okay, and that is not one of my um, excluded values, so it should, if you substitute in, it should work. Okay, and that is lesson 9.5 on solving rational equations.